You're doing this stop. This is bold. Oh, man. Oh, no. oh the face check. There's the pulverized death doing a lot of damage. Two more bullets in the chamber. Will get the crit, but it's a good exhaust. The flash out the heals there. Still a good laning start, actually, because the enemy AD carry is put low. Mako and Death need to invest in to push really hard here. Let's see. Gonna use double execute. Get the minion push. This is a big mistake by Vander Kahn. There's the flash out. Oh, my God. Death. The auto attack grenade, and that's going to be first. Because he had the pressure in the mid lane here. Uh, look at the snowball in the bot lane depth. Good oh, man, true. Uh, here, there's the exhaust. Yankos just got a flash on him. Good pulverize from Mako, but he's still gonna die. There's the Q. Yankos grabs another, and that is gonna be the double kill for Forgiven. Welcome back to the lane, H2K. All the vision for EDG was on the. They're taking farm from Ryu here as well, so it has meant that Scout was able to catch oh. back up. Oh. There's Mouse face checks. And is going to pop. Does, you know, survive for longer than we thought, but that's Ryu grabbing a kill. Well, level one here. So this is the desperation com coming from H2K. They understand that this is kind of the final stand, the 300 moment. You see Ryu looking for the flank. He's going to get possibly onto Death here as well. The Equalizer does come down. Lots of damage onto Scout. Good Hemo play because Ryu's got singled out. Still has the pull, remember, as Vanda looking to cause some trouble. Yankos very low as Ryu against the world. In the back line, good headbutt from Mako as Clearlock exhausted, but Primal so Spear lands in the back of the Vampire's head and Mouse going nuts in the back line. Forgiven's going to die on a one in trouble as Death grabs the last auto attack and EDG will take down this inhibitor and possibly take down the game. And this is why Mouse has the confidence to say, okay, the Aurelia pick didn't work the first time, let's go again. That is incredible. EDG, their first truly decisive victory here at World 2016 against H2K. Cloud Drake up first and no rush for that. Oh, Faker. picking Faker back. He did just get that flash shot. They're trying to time it. Throws it back. Oh! The ultimate. Oh, he did it! Right. Right. He's dodging it. Looks for the movement speed from the Noxious Blast, but it's Maple that's faster. Riding off SK Telecom in any way. Absolutely. And Faker getting camped is ahead in CS over the Aurelian Soul. I am definitely anticipating some more proactive moves. Ezra Flash 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 Flash. Oh. The second time Maple has dodged that. Will there be a follow up? Keeper's verdict. Off to the right side as Faker ghosted out to safety. Rumble's gonna clear it up, so Flash Wolves can go straight down mid, try and get this inhibitor turret line cracked. I mean, Blank considers himself a tank. He's built a tanky yeah. boat, he's gone, got the Ragnarok, but he's the only one looking for vision. It's Flash Wolves. Right onto Wolf and Faker, they go down immediately, opening up Pandora's box. Flash Very Wolves deep, makes their way into SKT's base. 11 to 3 now, 37 minutes, just waiting for Duke to come back up so they can take him down again. And the base is broken for SKT. Increasingly, the players on the stage. At this point, you feel like it almost can't. Mother of God. Can't happen. You'd that hope. is certainly. You would hope so. Thank you. Maple coming in. The shooting star is there. The team will follow. That means the inhibitor's down, but the grand show is just for the little bit. That is one way to brute force an inhibitor, let me <laughs> tell you. He could literally stun the entire screen there from Maple. Game. The cupcake traps are laid. Blank's trying to work around him. It dodges one, has the Guardian Angel to stay in the front. An Elder Dragon equalizer laid out, not hitting too many. It's going to Karsa. Flash Wolves look for the fight with MMD in the back line. Nobody gets stunned up, cannot be disabled Baker. on the side of Blank. And they're on to NL on the backside. Fight as well, Wolf and Sword are going head to head in the support war. Karsa takes down Baker after both the summoners are blown, and that's Duke falling. Flash Wolves have eyes on the base. They're gonna do it! Flash Wolves against SKT. They forced the smite fight at the Elder Dragon, and now they're chasing down the kill. Themselves on the board here in the first week of Worlds, and it's gonna be against SKT in the group. Flash Wolves take down SK Telecom. Could it be any sweeter? The questions were there. Analysts at home and abroad. Why can't this team finish? And look, we were right there. It actually goes right by it, but who he level right one, down. bro? Right down, hit. Yes, it is the Rome. That fog of war toggle on the top side. Whoa. Oh, tunnel vision on the jugglers, and who he level one, Rome? Are you kidding me? Where's I mean, you can I never criticize someone for being caught out by a level yeah. one Rome, but who he for once isn't running the exhaust, isn't running the heal, is running Ghost, and just completely out Fox, the rock tag. A headshot coming over from Snix, a voice of light causing Gorilla to flash. They're on a smithy now. He should definitely go down in this fight, but gets himself out. Beautiful heal as he was hopping away.
from Aframu, just a little triumphant roar. And Rox is trying to focus these kills, trying to edge out a little bit more as they watch Smithy and other champions get away with a sliver of health. Now Darshan starts to attack back with the rest of the team, finds Peanut by himself. Who's gonna pick this one up? Who he gets it with the stars and puts another one on the board. And they have pressure on two lanes, pushing up mid and bottom right now, trying to claim turrets as well. Rox just don't have the items to try and make the engages that Smeb is looking for. Prey is behind. The Aurelian Soul's not even a damage target for the likes of Kuro. COG is going to rotate between bottom mid, see what objectives they can pick up now, and never give their any inch. There isn't a Nocturne to turn this game on the head. Sure, late game team fighting, but I don't know if we're going to see a late game. That's a very good point. This is zero hesitation, CLG. Under the turret could be a little scary for him, and it's going to be one, two down now. If Smithy falls, but it's Takuro and Prey. With just about two to 300 health between Huki and Darshan, they're oh, going to start Peanut. backing off. Peanut could get a pop-up, but where's the follow from the rest of Rocks? They're a little scattered, and it's going to take a long chase. Stick says he's going to have to protect everyone as he ushers them out, laying down the cover fire. Oh. That'd be a fun one. Medjai's against Rock's Tigers at Worlds. That's a pretty, that's the one you dream of and then wake up and kind of, you know, pick it at yourself. And, okay, that's not going to happen, but. <laughs> the observer oh. scaring me. I was still wondering if Smeb was in that bush. Looks like he is, and Prey as well. Here's your test, Papa. Oh. Very thanky. Level 15, 9 0 oh! 2 absolutely blows up Prey. Holy crap. Leaves the rest of the team to do so as they try to get away now. Smeb, Keeper's Verdict, has no say in this fight. And he's going to be the next focus. A gnar out from Darshan causes the rest of Rocks to turn away. And they get just that rocked out of the fight. And who he passes the test with flying colors. 100% spray before Smeb even arrives. But I mean, so much can happen next week. Let's keep our eyes on this game as CLG try and take another inhibitor turret. In. Smeb coming in. Keeper's verdict. How many does he get? That's going to be a smithy. It's Dixay out of the fight. Huki, Afro, Mu, and Darshan. Oh! A huge gnar on the ultimate against the wall. Prey now with Dixay 1v1 as he tries to get out of the fight. Kuro and Prey are down. That's the DPS. That's the fight as Rox runs for the fountain for Solace. And Peanut does everything he can going for broke with the last knockup. But Darshan's going to follow him all the way home and he's gonna look for more kills showing up on the world stage after having a troublesome season the rest of CLG coming together as well here to pick up another victory at Worlds to go 2-1 in the first week oh. very thank you level 15 oh. But uh, let's see what this Tom Kench actually does as well, as they're going towards mid. Jensen throws the ball behind, maybe both trying to bait each other into a fight. Adina Jensen in the brush. Adina's going to have vision overall on oh this my. one, and the curtain call is left, right, and not center at all. They miss the shots, and Meteos is going to be there to help Jensen out safely. Jensen known in the North American LCS for his skill shot dodging, and there it was crucial. If one of those had landed, it would have meant his death. But Jensen gets himself out of another sticky situation. On the other side of things, Jin Jinjiao dodges lane, loses a couple of minion waves yep. looking for the kill. One shot would have been the slow and probably could have been the follow-up damage from the Vladimir. But losing out on CS selfishly and not picking up a kill is a heavy cost. Ooh, Impact Avoid actually this. using a lot of Add abilities flash. here mid lane. Avoid this is going to be on him. Flash used. Do they have the damage here? Impact uses his just after. Avoid around. Very low. This is going to be a kill for Impact. Looking for number two. The 2v1 is... On the lack of lockdown, Ice Bomb Gauntlet's only a little bit of that, but the damage there, the control is not. Road getting chunked out a little bit in his own jungle, and actually everybody converging here into the scrap. Road may have to use that thick skin soon. Pops it. Curtain call is up. That's going to be a flash from Smoothie. His ult is down, so Alistar definitely capable of being taken down now by I May as Jensen starts to come back in. Finds Amazing J. Corner break back. He's right on a Smoothie, but the headbutt away to save himself. Dodges the deadly flourish as well, and Smoothie is back and forth with the blue suede shoes. Amazing J. They lay out the red carpet and welcome him.
to the death. 45 seconds on the clock. That should mean the second inner tier turret is Jensen. Oh, the Jensen. Pedal. A wall of defense. Scatter the weak, and he almost takes another one out, bleeding and walking away as Jin Zhao and Road is. It's not good here for Aimei, but it's Nina still trying to stand tall at the turret. Nina was out of position list. the whole time, right. though, guys. He didn't manage to find it. Only ended up ulting to dissuade. Ultimate's on the side of C9, but not on the side of Aimei, which means a very big power difference. And there's just the start of it. Athena trying to get in with the Tides of Blood. Gets knocked off on there. The curtain call is coming through, but there's really no programs to be delivered from Aimei. Nobody's watching the show. They are just going right back for the fight. That uh, could be amazing. Jay getting a kill. This might be that one time where oh, I may find a chance once again. Smoothie flies into the front. They're dropping on both sides like flies, but it may be I may that's dropping faster. C9 Sneaky going in for some more shots, but the skills are still being dodged. And it looks like they come away with the turret after a very scrappy fight. Yeah, whew, very close escape there for the last couple of members of I may as Cloud9 go deep. The, Cloud9 still took down that turret though. All right, let's take a look at this again. Uh, it actually is a couple of good snares. Uh, Impact goes under turret range again, and Jin Zhao is able to snare him deep. But here we go. Medios goes for the dive. He's the one tanking. This is where it switches over to Impact, though. And he's got the snare from Jin Zhao. He does Zhonya's this time, but there's nothing to let him get out of this. Amazing J lands a stun. And Smoothie spent a lot of this time trying to consider flashing over the big wall next yeah. to this inner turret going for an engage. Couldn't find it right to the end. As you Looking say, for the win. Five members up. They could try and force something. A few more scatter the weak outside. Jensen keeps them at bay. Here goes the gopher broke from Aimei. One down as a voidless falls. They are going to lose Smoothie here, but it may not be one they need to keep as the fight goes on. The damage is on to the champions, not the Nexus turret, which is getting a little hairy for Cloud9, but they will turn their focus to the Nexus. They will turn their focus to a win, and they will go 2-1 in the group stage in week one. Only the head-to-head -head between SKT and C9 stops C9 from topping the group. Trends are being set. Yeah, Smurfs looking for perks. Throws him up into the oh, air. Oh, oh my goodness, into the wall. Oh. Smurf secures the kill. Liquid actually is the one that grabs it. That was a beautiful pick. Oh, I bloody love that combo. That was so smart. <laughs> Knock him up, force the flash wall into wall stun with the... Poppy and Nivea combo. Oh, so creative from A&X. Hard yeah. trades being set or expect expectations being shattered. They're starting the Baron right now. Trick's on the back side. Look at the damage that this Baron is taking as well as Trick gets stunned. Trick he wants to get the magical steal. He can get in there with the safeguard, but they're holding off on the damage. Poppy double, you can catch oh, the safeguard. Oh, trouble. Kira's over the wall. The kick comes in. Swerve bang on to Trick. Stop it. Get in there as the Baron is taken down. Trick has no help. As well as Smurfs looking for a flank, but out of a risky maneuver here, which is why they're being so respectful. Oh, another one! Mithy in trouble as expect. Might have that GA punch. Oh. Kira gets hit by another shockwave, but it's just not enough. That ultimate from Liquid did ridiculous damage. A miracle not quite able to get close enough to do damage to these G2 members, but this is on a knife edge. Oh, Sven looking to kite and poke and poke and poke, and when the engage fails, G2 actually get the upper hand because this s is ramping up to late game. Oh, on a ward. Bases. Top lane inhibitor is in trouble on the side of G2. They will need to go back and deal with it. Perks is the one with the job. We're coming into a scenario where across from these 5v5s, if G2... Oh no, Liquid possibly in trouble. The rest of the team are here. Expect he gets walled in. The GA is going to be popped. The teleport from Smurf, and he's waiting with the heroic charge. See you later. Trundle. Two members of G2 Esports are in base. Their jungle and their mid lane are not even present. And Expect goes for an aggressive invade this well. Unbelievable. The inhibitor is going to go down. Albus Knox looking They're to do finish it. They the don't have game. Any Only Expect and with the alive. Expect has to flash. The wall's there. The Nexus turret's getting decimated. That's it. Last Nexus goes down. Knox, two and one in the group. What beasts from the sea. gets a base off, walks into any random lane, and Ash Hour combined with a teleport could pay off well for Ant Z, but then they need to keep Yang alive here because this tower is falling and Mountain shows up again. Yeah, and out goes Yang. He's trying to escape. Good flash off to the pounce as Mountain will be able to catch up to him. Another pounce comes in. He gets under another turret, but is that going to be enough? Tempered Fate was almost there, but 
Massive gets the kill. Revolta is underneath them. Oh, good Q. He's still looking for it. Fair bit of damage now as the kick's not oh. one out. The minions, they're not there. And Revolta, he's going to be taken down. This chase is so damn big. The acceleration gate should be able to get him to safety. Talkers could not chase after that man. And the minion aggro, not enough to finish off Mountain. So close there for Revolta. Yeah, Revolta looking to kind of make up for a mistake earlier by his team. Going pretty greedy, knowing he would likely die at the end of that play. Must be so defeating for INTC to not only lose two kills in that exchange in the top lane, but also lose their mid lane turret. A mid lane turret is so important if you want to keep any semblance of control on the map. And the reason why is because Ziv is absorbing so much pressure into the top lane. All of INTZ. Oh, Macau oh, Westall from over the side. Alvis into the hip-hop pulverized. The silence comes in. Malefic Visions will finish it off. And Westall picks up the ash. Now, out of Fog of War. Totally unexpected to get a random Malzar ulti yeah, into like, the wow, flash cow. it's purple attached to my head. What happened? You know, like, the Smeb cannon ulti. That's when you need a, a more damage-oriented build, like an earlier allies, maybe like an abyssalate to pull the The Zonias itself is really not going to do too much for him. And even if he gets a, a four-man stun, he'll likely not Oh my goodness, speaking of a stun, Jockstar is going to be taken down. He was in his journey, he was having a good time, but not now, he's in the death chamber. Got locked down. Mm. Can't take that portal while silenced. Or suppressed for that matter. Revolta here with the cow. There's the arrow on to Mount Beningo's Albus. The knockups there. The spear's not going to land as there goes Albus. Dragon Rage kicking to get him out of there. Tokers heading around as well as Revolta getting chased by the cat and the cow. Jockster over the wall. Westor is going to be taken down, but Ziv's going to get revenge eventually. There it is. The shutdown actually given to Westor as Mountain Primal Surge and Revolta is going to escape. Scrappy. Bo Scrappy fight across the board, but in the end, AHQ do come out on top. Low health bars, however, so they can't immediately turn towards the Baron. Look at for more. Oh, in goes Mountain. Revolta is going to fall, but that's a trade. And maybe one that INTZ will be happy with. There it is, eventually a trade. Mountain is out for blood. He really takes this one-on-one -on -one -on -one battle, head, battle duel seriously against Revolta. But we have to go back. I think he started this pickup. Right now, Ziv's in trouble. Yeah, he's been exhausted. Yang's going to stun him up one more time. Proto Belt, and there it is. The top laner going to be able to take down his opponent, but that's going to cost him an inhibitor turret in the top lane. All right, what a mess here. We see all the Hunt pumps, Spell Shield down, so we should finally At see. At one point, that, that is really goes. being too critical. Right now, they're going to go back in here. They have ways to stop this Lee Sin, who has no flash. So very particular here, West Door has the vision to work with. There's two damage dealers on the stopping front, though, so very little damage on the Baron itself. Well, Tempered Fate is going to lock it up for the moment. Revolta does have to walk past Ziv and Westor, and they just both explode. Jockster as well. Tokers throws down the ultimate, but it's to Westor's back. And in goes Yang. This is the last ditch effort. The Malzahar falls down, but Tokers should follow. Mountain looking to try and lock that one up, and he's going to get it. AHQ are going to take down everyone but Macau and should be able to finish off the base unless the minions do it for them before they get there. Yeah, Macau desperately trying to clear some of the minions what's left. At least buff up the CSD stats before the inevitable thing will happen. AHQ, Whoa. slow and steady, wins the race. Slow and steady, eventually kills the base as well. Next is going down. Most certainly his arm's going to flash onto Macau because he may as well. Spear! Oh my gosh! Saved by the Nexus explosion and AHQ HQ, flat out asphyxiation against INTZ. Which means that this group is going to widen a little bit.